Welcome back to Waffle Ministries. Dr. Angela here. God bless all of you who are here. And if you have your Bibles, turn with me to uh, Jeremiah 29, verse 11. And the Bible says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an unexpected end. Then shall you call upon me, and you shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And ye shall seek me and find me, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. And I will be found of you, said the Lord, and I will turn away your captivity, and I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places where whither I have driven you, said the Lord. And I will bring you again into the place where I called you to be carried away captive. captive. So understand that. God knows the plans he has for you. When you taste Jesus, the well never runs out. God knows the plans and the thoughts that he thinks towards you. And there are some of you right now who feel like maybe God has given up on you. Maybe God does not care about you. Because whatever you've been praying for, it has not happened yet. But you have to remember, like the Bible says, to pray unto God and then he will hear you. Go behind cl closed doors, your bathroom, your kitchen, your closet, your car, wherever you can get away, your shower. And pray to your Heavenly Father. And he will hear your prayer. He will answer you. And he will come through for you. Your plans that he has for you are big. These are not little plans God has for you. These are big plans God has for you. Because when it comes to you, you are a big deal. God does not play about you. So stop accepting the small. Understand that the simple things get God's attention. Thank you for the food on my table, God. Thank you for the clothes on my back. Thank you for the place that I am. Thank you for the car that you have blessed me. Thank you for the breath in my body. Thank you, God, that my feet just touched the ground when I woke up. The simple things. God gave King David, the keys to the kingdom. Because he didn't ask for nothing. And God said, I'm going to make you rich. I'm giving you the keys to the kingdom. Ask for wisdom. Read the book of Proverbs. Get wisdom. Get wisdom, and wisdom will give you understanding. Knowledge is key. Learning the word of God, filling yourself up with the word. The word is your spiritual food, and you need your spiritual food to keep you going. You need your spiritual food to know the plans. Because if you are not in your word, you're in the world, and you're listening to the lies of the enemy. And when you're not in your word, the enemy is throwing stuff at you to throw you off your track, to throw you off your course, to make you forget about what God has spoken to you, make you forget about the promises that God has said to you, make you forget about everything that God wants to do for you, in you, and through you. You are God's chosen. And there's something about you. There's something about you. There's something about you that God, he just can't leave you alone. He's chasing you down. Even as you're listening to me right now, he's capturing you. He's the God of rescue. He knows who he wants. And he will chase you down till he has captured you. 
He will heal your heart. He will restore you. God says, touch not my anointed. And you are his anointed. And you, he's going to appoint you for such a time as this. This is the time. This is the time. And I pray that God changes your season. Changes your story. Changes your outcome. Changes the narrative. Flips the script on the enemy. And that you have a new story to tell. Victory. Victory shall be your portion. You shall rejoice for what God is about to do in your life. Because it's big. It's not small. You are a big deal. Understand that. That you are a big deal. You are not a small deal. God does not play about you. He left a 99 for the one which is you. And his plans are to prosper you and not to harm you. We rebuke Satan today in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever voices that have been speaking to you, I shut it down in the mighty name of Jesus. Twenty twenty four will be the best year of your life. You will have the best year of your life. You will have testimony, breakthrough, prosperity, healing, riches. You are that one. You are that vessel. You are the elect. You are the priesthood. You are the king. You are the queen. Your enemies will have to watch you eat. The enemy is going to have to be mad. Yeah. But I love you. I just wanted to give you some encouragement. To let you know and remind you what the Bible says. That the plans God has for you are to prosper you and not to harm you. God bless you. And have a blessed and prosperous day.